Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, understanding logarithms. What is it? What are the basics? And then we're going to go over the calculator values, using your calculator to calculate the log of certain values. How to evaluate logarithmic expressions. The properties of a logarithm, how to expand an expression and compress it, knowing what we know about certain logarithmic properties. Then you're going to have some problem sets thrown throughout this video series. And we'll finish with a self-quiz so you can really test yourself to see how well you know the concepts. All right, let's get started. Exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverses. Okay, I'll go over what that means in just a second. But when you look at an exponential function, a typical one is written like this. Y equals a to the x power. Now, a is the base, and it can be some sort of integer value, positive or negative at times. And x, of course, is the exponent or power. So you're taking a number, a, and raising it to a power x. And the value of that, whether through a calculator or just multiplication, is y. All right, so you got the value equals a to the x power. All right, now the logarithmic function is actually the inverse of that. What we're going to do is switch the x and the y, okay, and then we're going to write it a different way. Now this will give us x equals a to the y. Now to write something in logarithmic uh, form, what we do is we put the base number right next to log, okay? The logarithm of a number base a, and exponent is y. Notice how y is the power. The logarithm is always the exponent, so you're searching for the exponent. It's a reverse of searching for an answer in exponential function. So when we write it y equals log a, that means a to the what power equals x, okay? a to the y power equals x. All right, so this is read logarithm base a is x. Again, a to the y power equals x. The logarithm is the answer. Now, looking at a graph, exponential function here is in the blue okay and remember it's a raised to the x power and that value is y okay you have a horizontal asymptote in other words a borderline here this function approaches just above that x axis never really touches it but going to the right it does increase and get steadily greater in its slope all right. Remember how we switched the y and the x values? Well, that's what happens when you have an inverse function. So if x and y are switched, that's our symmetry line right there. Okay. So everything in the blue gets flipped over here and becomes green. That's our logarithmic function. So from exponential, y equals a to the x, it becomes logarithmic. Okay. Logarithmic functions approach the y-axis going down here to negative infinity, but then they flatten out going here to the right. All right? Now, let's look at logarithmic and exponential form and going back and forth. In algebra class, it's important to be able to go from exponential form to logarithmic form and the other way around. So I'm going to test you out here a little bit. We're going to have an exponential function, and we're going to rewrite it in logarithmic form. So you can look at these four examples, and again, click on pause to give these a try on a piece of paper. Let's do the first one together. This is 15 squared equals 225, and we know that's true, all right? So the question, first of all, is what's the base? Because the base number goes right next to log. Well, the base is 15, so we're going to have log 15. And then what is the answer? What's the value? Oh, 225, all right? In other words, 15 to the what power is 225? And the exponent, and the answer in this case, is 
2. 15 to the second power is 225. Okay? On this one, here's the base. So we're going to say log 243. 243 to the what power is 3. All right, base, the value, the exponent, base value exponent, okay? 243 to the one-fifth power is 3. All right, take a look at these two and see if you can write them in logarithmic form. All right, number 3, 11 squared equals 121. Okay, what's the base? 11, so it's log 11. What's the answer? 121. All right, so log base 11 of 121, and you, sh you should know by now, 11 to the what power is 121? The answer is 2. That's the exponent. Okay? The log is the exponent. All right, here we go. 3 to the third is 27, so the base is 3. 3 to the what power is 27? 3. All right, again, it just takes thinking backwards a little bit. All right, finally, five and six, give those a try. See if you can write them in logarithmic form. All right, number five, again, where's the base? 49, so we're gonna write log 49, and the answer is 1 seventh, so that goes right there, equals the exponent. Okay, base, answer, exponent. Don't let the fractions fool you. But again, this says 49 to the what power is 1 seventh? And the answer is to the negative 1 half power. Okay, I know it's a little confusing with the fractions, but just remember kind of the format and where everything goes. Here it's 18 squared equals 324. All right, the base number is 18. So 18 to the what power is 324? Two. Remember, the logarithm is the exponent. Okay, if you can think backwards like that and put the numbers in the proper spot, you've got it. Now, the next video is to go from exponential form, or excuse me, log form to exponential form. We'll see if we can do it. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.